everybody and welcome back to another episode of Jurassic World Alive! Where it has been a hot second since we've made a video on this game, but we've got some interesting news and new creatures to check out. So, I mean, this game's been chugging along. It's, I don't know about you guys, but it's it's kind of been the samey. It's very samey. Uh, you know, you check in, you do your alliance, you take your takedowns, you donate, you do all this, and and you, you just get your incubators and for me i'm not taking it too seriously i'm not going for you know number one pvp rank sort of thing i'm just doing my stuff and waiting on something to take my interest <laughs> seems to be where i'm at at the moment but um there is a release notes for Jurassic World Alive 2.22 uh have just come out or at least um at least i've been given them and they haven't said that it's confidential or anything. I'm pretty sure they probably made a post about it. Um, and this new update that's coming to the game isn't going to add a whole bunch of new... Oh, hold on. Just seen we've got some coins to collect there for the next 30 minutes. Mm, yes, extra 500 and we kind of need it because we started at 900,000 or 9 million and we're now up to 4 million. He's kind of a bit scary. Um, so there's only going to be one new creature. Uh, dinosaurs that are being changed are all being buffed. So no qualms there right i would imagine we'll see how it goes because most of the dinosaurs are like rares or epics so they're not too pvp heavy uh but there is also a really big i mean i mean really big uh update coming to all unique dinosaurs or creatures in the game uh so first we're just gonna have a look at the new creature that's coming uh, to the game, which is Beelzebufo, which was the ancient prehistoric froggy in Madagascar that lived in the Cretaceous period. This guy. Um, so, kind of looking forward to seeing this. If I mean, if you've played Ark, you've probably seen Beelzebuff before or have heard of it from that. Um, I know that's where I've heard it from. Uh, so, this guy is a cunning tank debuffer. Now, what's special about it is that it has, like most things that are nowadays, uh, it's probably going to be used quite a lot because it's, you know, a flock creature and most flock creatures, even though if it's an epic, it might be pretty good. Um, but it comes with a new ability, first ever creature to have this in Jurassic World Alive called Affliction. So just like the poison dart frogs of the Amazon, it's got an attack called Afflicting Strike. So when this move hits you for so many turns uh you will have your resistances lowered and when it's not armor it's not attack it's not speed it's resistances um afflict all resistances 15 percent lasting two turns and cooldown of one so basically it can't be used, I think. Uh, or can it constantly be used? It could. You might be able to stack it, actually. So for the next turn, you could have a 30% debuff, basically, on all the resistances. So now, no longer will things be completely immune to stuns or anything like that. This guy doesn't have anything to capitalize on that. He does have a feast, which is a new move. And feast means you rally 33%. Um, you do 1.7 damage and it's a cooldown. So basically it doesn't say you have to be below a certain thing. Uh, you could have just lost one of your frogs. You go for feast, you get it back. Um, so it's gonna be interesting. It, it, it doesn't last long enough for it really to take big advantage of like let's say you do it twice in a row right you're gonna have 30 percent resistance minus for them for all of their things but what are you gonna really do with that maybe you're gonna swap something in maybe get a stun if it's you know it's stun resistance was yeah 30 percent or, or something like that then yeah you're gonna guarantee a stun um but apart from that the, the thing itself can't really take uh, advantage of it but i don't know it'll be interesting to see what the rest of the community makes of it because that's you guys are way more professional than me and know all of the interesting things and experiment with it and i just kind of wait for you guys to find out something and i go i'll do that <laughs> uh, but interesting to see how it might change it up um then our next thing we're going to get into is we actually have a table of you know, you have strike, impact, rampage, and stuff like that. And it's sometimes I think the word the wording can be a bit misleading, but they've decided, right, okay, so we're gonna now have things do certain amounts of damage. So if it says strike in the name, I, I'm assuming this is what they're meaning, it will do one damage. So it'll do like your attack times one, your base attack. Impact will always be 1.5. Rampage will be two times damage. Decimation, which might be the new one, is 
2.5 damage and devastation being the three times damage that's the one that um the tester corbinus had or the turtle had uh, or corbinus had so nice to know they've made that very nice and simple so we've had word and uh, feelers out about you know dinosaurs going up to level 40 uh whereas this update isn't giving us that and i think if they they increased the limit it's really only helping the top players out and everyone else is just gonna go straight down and then you've just got your whales at the top that you know pour thousands into it which is me but then i'm not <laughs> um so these are called genetic enhancements um so i've had a quick read through of it and it seems to be that you can unlock certain buffs for your dinosaurs or, the, or if they're unique dinosaurs and i think a unique dinosaur needs to be a hybrid anyway you get like sometimes maybe it's 10 percent health increase sometimes it's a, a passive bleed or, or some of the examples they've shown anyway um not only do you need to spend a crud ton of coin on these things maybe you unlock certain slots maybe there's like three slots and the last one's the most expensive or maybe there's and you can switch these things in and out i feel like that's how it's going to go um but you you need to sort of give up your uh dna on other dinosaurs in order to fill up this um dna thing and then combine it or something like that so you're going to take all of the dna you've gathered over time on useless dinosaurs or dinosaurs that you got plenty um dna on and you're going to smush it into something that is fairly decent uh or at least that's that's how it it seems like to me that's how it's going anyway yeah <laughs> just make sure i am recording we're all, we're all good here um now on to the things that are being boosted Overaptor uh, is having its sidestep become dual claw, so it actually, I think, might do some damage there. Arctops is having its ability distraction uh, becomes cunning strike. So it seems to be a lot of uh, moves that were, um, you know, just lowering 100% of attack are now being kind of taken out and are putting are being replaced with things that do damage as well as reducing attack. Because most things have resistance to attack uh, being reduced, so it's kind of a pointless move. Um, and I think that's what they're doing. They're, they're trying to keep these old dinosaurs uh, level with the new ones. Uh, Cervalises, which is the deer, is having a 150 health increase. Uh, Quetzalcoatlus is having its, uh, wow, big resistances upgraded. Uh, its damage resistance, reduced damage resistance from 0% to 100%. Okay, so you can't reduce its damage. And its speed decrease, instead of being 0%, it's 50%. Okay. Uh, Sonosaurus is having his resilient strike become group resilient strike, hoping to counter more of those, uh, I assume, the flock creatures. Taunting vulnerability becomes brace, which I think is where you gain health, gain a shield, gain some other abilities for no attack. You're just uh, expecting a big hit to come through. Uh, Morris Intrepidus is having its base attack go from 110, oh sorry, 1100 to 1200, gaining 100 attack. Um, Alisol Gen 2 is gaining a rending takedown or is becoming instant rend. So what was great about certain dinosaurs like Albertosaur was that they had an instant ferocious thing. And Alisol Gen 2 kind of had the rendering thing. That was what it had going for it. But now it's having instant rend. So that's going to be really good for it. Now we're getting into something that might change up the meta, maybe just a little bit. Alloraptor. I see people talk about Alloraptor all the time. I, I've never faced up against it in PvP, but I think it's a it, maybe it's a fan favorite. Um, it's having its rending takedown becoming cunning, ferocious strike, and having rending attack added. So it's actually getting a whole nother move. Um, and finally, the only unique getting a buff here is the Spino Constrictor. And I actually think I have this guy uh, maxed up or, or pretty darn close. I think it's... I think I... Yeah, I do actually have a maxed up because I was like, you know what? I like, dude, let's go Snake Team. That would be kind of fun uh, to try. But, but I mean, you, I mean, you want a good team, you need to have a mixed up. But it would be, maybe one day we'll, we'll try it. I don't know. But it's having its distraction become cunning strike so it had instant distraction which again in this day and age or you know with the game it is now the point it is it just seems kind of stupid because you, you what you're gonna waste it at some attack 
and go for 100% reduction, which literally does nothing on the opponent. Maybe you, you could do that, I guess, to get a counter off. But uh, you know what I mean. It, it just seems wasted at this point. But it's actually getting a cunning strike. And I think that cleanses damage over time for you and reduces their attack, I think. Or unless... No, no, cunning goes through cloak. Ah, actually, and gives you an evasive. So will be very good. What was once only reserved for Indoraptor is now... Is something I think most other dinosaurs or a lot of dinosaurs have it, but also Spino Constrictor is also getting it. And that about wraps up our update, but not the video. No, 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 no. It's a don't go anywhere. Don't leave me. No. But no, we are back <laughs> because it has been a hot minute since I've done this. And the main reason why it's been a hot minute is because I have finally got something to showcase. Oh my god, it took so long to do this. We have the weird, the smelly, ratty thing, which looks like it should have been released for Halloween, the Indolacan. Or Indolacine? Indolacan? Indolacan, that thing, yes, this, which is just like a, an Indoraptor Gen 2 mixed with a scabbers. Uh, it still has the sort of blue stripe that the Indoraptor Gen 2 has, but I see this in most people's list. If I, if I look in the top 10 or top 20, 50, whatever, they normally have this maxed up and they've got like boosts on and everything. So I'm kind of looking forward to seeing just what this can do. But you see it's like hairs flying off. It looks like it's got mange. It's, it's, you know what? I kind of like that they are, you know, we went from the days of Jurassic World, the game where most dinosaurs were spiky and that was it. But now look at this. We've got fur flying off. I mean, we, it was a bit glitchy before, but it's fixed now. Thank God. <laughs> it's fixed for when I get it, luckily. Um, and it's got sickle claw that the Indoraptor had on the back. Um, and it's, I'm sure it's got some amazing moves. I have yet to test it out. It's got some good resistances. Is it just, oh, the speed reduction. There you go. You, you need, it's, it's one of the three. You need to be 100% resistant to speed, attack, or stun. You get one of those. It's, it's good. And here we have 50% reduction for speed. Oh, sorry, uh, attack. 75% um, chance to not be stunned and basically 100% chance to not have your speed reduced at all which is great but I also have so many boosts we have 22 speed boosts we have 7 attacks and 28 healths um, and also a reset I can use as well um, we've also been I mean we, I need to go on to here as well because I was kind of hoping I didn't make a video on this either this is the pinnacle pass um, and I was hoping fingers crossed that there would be something in this new pass that I would like. Maybe we had a look at this when it first came out. I'm not too sure, but I did look at it anyway. And unless you really want or you're you're lacking the DNA for the Gemini Titan hybrid thing, I don't think there's anything here for you. And honestly, I feel like if I just collect all of these rewards, maybe I might be there. So hold on to your butts. Let's just speed up while I do it. Okay, there we go. And for some reason, it keeps on wanting to shove me up to the top as if I've got something to collect. So if you don't, you're going to get around about 150 uh, Geminidus or Gemin, Gemini Titan DNA. Is it Gemini Titan? Gemini Titan sounds better than Geminidus. It feels like that's the stronger one. So we'll we'll do one fusion for this. This is like 200 to pop. And there's that 10. There's that. I actually got a 90 on the Scorpion not too long ago. I was quite proud of that. Oh, <laughs> so Geminidus, we have one pop. We're, what will we get? Will we get a depressing 10? But if you close yeah, the let's go. Yeah, I mean, you've got to, you've got to, right? I mean, that, that, that's what this is. It would you just spend money. <laughs> uh, do I actually have a boost I can give it? Oh, I do. I do, I do, I do. I could get, yeah, solid. We'll just get it to max tier 20 attack. Always forget about these things. I level the dinosaurs up and then I'm, wait, wait, I've got something I can add to it. Do you want more health? I don't know. Everything's always better with more attack, isn't it? That's why I only have five attack boosts to put on. I'm saving those because I want to swap out one of these. And I feel like it might be this guy, the Ankyloceratops. I might want to swap out for um, the Indolacine, the, the new thing I've got. Uh, it'd be, well, we could have a quick look to see what the top people have. Um, Momo, what is Mo Momo has it? There it is. Has 134 speed, 
2,841 attack and 7,247 health. And because they're the top player, let's see, has anyone else got it at 134 speed? No, no speed boost on the IGT. Oh, it's no fun. They always hide their things. They think they're so uh, amazing that they, don't, they need to hide their things. Cool, thank you. <laughs> You can't copy me. I'm your best. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay. 134 on that guy. So I've seen some people they either put some speed boosts on it. 140 on that one. Wow. Okay. I mean, really, I guess it depends on what your team is. And if you feel like, you know, you've got a lot of slow dinos and that one needs to be a little bit quicker. But at least 134. And like I said, everybody up here has it unlocked. Oh, that was nice. Somebody had Spinoceratops there. I think that one has boost. Another 134, 246. So yeah, it's 153 pops. We've got three pops. We get a 20. Okay. If we get two more 20s, it takes us to 80 and then we're closer to getting it next time. 20 every time is good. That's brilliant. Okay, fair enough. I'll take it. But I would like a 40 now. Being a very good boy this year. Has only started. But 40 would be brilliant. Or 20. I did say 20 to start, which is very close. 26. I mean, level 26 is still good. A 27 would be, be a bit better. A bit better. What I will do is I will just put on, well, like, the, the remainder attack boosts I have. In fact, actually, uh, I will go in here. Do we have anything? No, we don't have any. Oh, that's health. Okay, I was going to say... There we go. Well, okay, 6,000. There, we'll take it to 6,000 health. Sweet. So, well, you know, even though we've used... We, even though it's only level 26, it's it's getting close. So, I will actually switch it out for the Anklo, uh Dactyl, the big dragon thing. Because it's a really good thing. I can't swap out T-Rex. And I can't swap out the Tyranno thing. Because I can't do that. Because <laughs> it's just so much money would be just... Wasted. I need to keep that in it. It's a flex. It's a weird flex in a weird way, but this is the times that we're living in. Right, okay, we'll open up that. And let's do a battle and see if we actually get it on the roster, shall we? We've also got an Isla event that we could participate in, but that gives us Rexy DNA. And we've already got Rexy level 30. We've got Tyranno Metrodon level 30. I mean, you may as well, right? You never know. This new enhancement thing that's coming up, you might need to just, you know, squish some Rexy DNA into something that's good. I don't know, maybe a perk itself might have its own thing. It might be like, oh, you need that to... Uh, you need Rexy DNA in order to get this amazing perk for your dinos. And unfortunately, we don't, so we'll skip to the next one. There it is. Ooh, okay, never mind. They've got their own at level 28. Very interesting. Ooh, I like this. Cloak of Rage. Oh, I like the eyes. Never seen that before. I've never faced this thing before. Or at least I think I maybe once or twice. Okay, so he's went invisible. I'm assuming I don't do any damage. To oh, I do do damage to him. Oh, that's very odd. Um, I cleanse myself, I think. Oh, he has his own counter. He did Bob damage to me. Jesus. All right, so... I mean, he's increased his own attack, right? So I'm assuming he's going to do a lot of damage here. He does do a counter? I mean, he might... Oh, we get a crit. Ooh, he got a crit. He might have done pretty well if it was just, you know, um, you know, if I didn't have that Devour coming in because I just ate a Gemini Titan, a <laughs> Geminitis before that. Uh, so, yeah, it would, I would have done better there. But, you know, we're trying to better run to that. We'll, we'll, put, we'll include the ending there because we got to see fighting it. We didn't even get to use it yet. Will we get the Indolacan? Oh, we do! Ooh. <laughs> this is interesting. I... Ooh. You know, I mean, most of them are, like, the Scorpions for when the Compsoraptor's in. The Tyranno Valkyrie's a good one to swap in. And, I, and the mystery is the... Oh, I'm just gonna go for the T-Rex. <laughs> I, I don't have it. Oh, okay, maybe it wasn't so bad. Happily take that. That's very good against this matchup. Anyway, the crocodile. He's actually got some speed boost on it. What? Do I have... Maybe I have speed boost on mine. I can't remember. Doesn't feel like a thing I would ever really want to put... Oh, there it is. Okay, am I going to stop him from swapping out? Easy. Oh, he's resisted it. Oh, okay. It could have been worse. So, if I was to maybe a flock creature? Yeah. Oh, so I, I have the the scorpion for this, definitely. Right, so he comes in. 
It reduces my attack a little bit. He gets an evasive, so there's a big chance that he's just gonna, like, take very little damage from this. Yeah, well, even that was the dodge and my resistance, so uh, my lowered attack. Interesting. So, 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 so. I mean, I may as well just try and get some health back. Like, my first hit. And then this one. He didn't get a crit, so that's good. Um, he's, um, oh, he's got max attack on this thing. Genius! Yeah, I'm not surviving this next hit. I'm not surviving it. Okay, okay. Off to, off to maybe not so a good start. Um, I was going to say, he has to go with his priority, and he's going to get that crit. 3,000 damage for a priority that you can just spam. That is nuts. Okay, so he's dead. I mean, this is what happens uh, when you have Comsa Raptor. If the, other, if the opponent has a scorpion, you've just got to say goodbye to it. There's nothing you can do. Um, he's going to kill one, but then he's dead. Because he's going to get stunned. He's going to get poisoned. He's going to get all of the lovely jubblies happen to him. And I can increase my attack for next turn. Maybe I don't even need to, actually. Because he can't swap out. Because he's locked in. And that would just waste a turn. Um, and he's going to get a bleed. And oh, yeah, there you go. You love to see the perfect counters for them. And I feel like that's what a good game should be. And at one point, this game had that. It felt like, how long does this uh, attack increase last for? Six attacks, three turns. Okay. <laughs> I'm not going to survive that long. I'm probably going to swap out. Um, he might bring in his crocodile now. Would be a good counter for the crocodile. I don't know if the uh, Indula can is. But, I mean, it's, it's we need to test it, definitely. So, we'll go for this. Maybe he's... Oh, he didn't go for his uh, stun heal. I thought he might have, actually. Yeah, we're just gonna... I mean, we're dead. We're basically dead. We'll do some damage over time to him. Survive this next hit. Um, I, I, I probably could have swapped out. Does he stop the swap? Uh, he does. Uh, wait, no, he doesn't. Uh, escape, you're unable to swap. Ah, do I have resistance to the swap? No, I don't. Okay, so th this is the best thing I could do. So cleanse myself. This damage of that. Oh, it's so close. It's so close. My devourer doesn't really help or do anything <laughs> at this point. Um, so, I mean, my count is to attack, right? Do I do damage? Shattering antidote. Attack or remove shield. No escape. No, I don't think I do, actually. Yeah, I, I mean, I knew that was coming. Um, there's nothing really I could do there. He's gonna increase his attack. He might even just kill me, uh, with the next one. With this, with this counter, because he's got an increased attack now. I'm really not too sure. Yeah, I had a feeling that was coming. Uh, a little bit of damage over time. Right, so, this is interesting. I will put Indulacan out now. Right, come on, you little mangy rat thingy. Uh, and do, do we just go for the Cloak of Rage? Uh, I feel like that's probably the best. Uh, yes, yes, let's do Cloak of Rage. Spooky eyeballs. Ooh. Right, cleanse, increase attack, increase speed, increase attack of him, regain invisibility, reduces armor, and thank God the dodge helped us there because he, <laughs> he did like 9,000 damage. Ooh. That was bad. Okay, now we have this one, which is a cooldown of three. Uh, we increase our attack for two turns. Okay, so, you know, we'll just go for a regular hit. We'll go for a regular. We'll save that for the next one. Okay. I don't know what that... Do we get anything for that? We increase our speed and attack. Oh, this. This, I think he did it. Well done. Well done. Oh, that was brilliant because that actually goes through... No, does it go through? I don't know what that does, actually. I think it hits... No, Paratops hits Phlox, doesn't it? That just goes through um, Cloak and stuff. So that was very... I mean, the first time using it, I think I did it the best way I could do. Maybe we'll get one more to see if I can do it a little bit better. And... Yeah! Oh, God. Ooh, I don't like that team. I'll admit, that's, that's not the best. Ooh! 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 Not good! A level 30 of this thing at 10,000 health, and I've got two flock creatures. Would my other thing be good? The end of the can against this? Maybe it is, and I'm a fool. No. Oh, no. That's fine. That's fine. I don't I don't mind. I don't mind. Cleanses itself. But we our counter luckily goes through armor. Now, we can 
go for a... Oh my god, he's got max attack as well. 2,100. That's like 4,200 for a priority. Damn. Okay, I'm going to get my health back because... Yeah, I'm expecting this uh, group disarm encounter. Does he slow me down? Reduces my armor, reduces my attack, and doesn't slow me. Okay, that's the important part. Uh, however, now he could do some major damage to me. Uh, and there's nothing really I can do about this. So I just gotta kind of take it. Uh, because he's just gonna do priority. Yeah, yeah. Maybe, um, should I went for a different... I should have went for a different attack. Um, because then I could have hit him and then also done a counter. So I need something that is going to... Ooh, I think I'm gonna have to fodder off something here. But I don't know. Uh, okay, so, you know what? He does not have his... His, whatchamacallit? His, his big attack now. He doesn't have it for two turns, so I'll go for my cloak. And then by that point, his invincibility should have disappeared, I think? Do I have an attack that breaks it? Maybe I don't. Okay, so I cleanse it, I increase. But I don't think he has something that goes through um, cloak. We have reduces armor. Oh, and then he increases it to 80%. <laughs> ah, I see. Brilliant. Mm, not so great. And also cleanses, so... Yeah, my counter... Yeah, it doesn't go through that either. Uh, 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 okay, so that doesn't do anything. And uh, that one doesn't do anything. And uh, that one doesn't do anything. Ah. So you're pretty terrible at this, aren't you? Yes. <laughs> so no, Indulakan is not... Even though we got a crit. Okay, we'll take the crit. We'll take the crit. Some devour heal, but we're pretty much dead next. Like, you could probably go for a normal hit and get a crit and probably kill us, to be fair. Yeah, okay, so that was bad. I had a completely terrible team. I have two dinosaurs to take out German Titan, or German Titan, whatever it's called. The Rexy and the Mortem Rexy, or whatever it is. And both of them did not pull, and I've got Flocks. So my whole team was kind of countered by this. Uh, you know what? We'll go for the Scorpion. I don't know. There's not really much, many things we can go for now. Uh, because he, I think he has his priority back or... I, we're dead. <laughs> we're, we're pretty much dead. Oh, go with that massive attack. Damn. And then he's... So we destroy the shield with the count. Okay. Oh, maybe. Maybe we're going to get a kill here. I don't know. Does this go through armor? Oh, no, it doesn't. But we did... We got one. We... You know what? We got one there. That was that was a beast to take. We don't even know what else he's got. He could have something crazy. Like, all he needs is something that doesn't allow me to swap out. That's it. That's all he needs. He needs uh, alpha. Uh, that's it. There we go. Well done. I'm just going to try and swap out anyway. But yeah, like, he's just going to go for an attack. Yep, swap prevent. And there it is. We'll, we'll just finish it ourselves. I'll go by my own terms. Thank you very much. <laughs> End of the can. Probably a very useful creature in the right circumstances. However, I just did not have the right circumstances there. That was god awful. But anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, we'll check back in when we unlock something or the new update comes up or something like that. But in anyway, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye bye.